Okay, so now this is a quick tutorial on how to rebase a git branch onto another and how to resolve uh, merge conflicts. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is to rebase um, We're going to rebase this branch onto redo onto my GS branch. Now, as you can see, under redo is actually already based onto GS. The problem is it was rebased previously, but incorrectly rebased. Because if you take a look at timeline, timeline.pi, it's got a bunch of stuff that doesn't wasn't part of the branch initially. So uh, an error occurred during the rebasing. So first, what we have to do is get an older version of that undo redo branch that was before the first attempt at rebasing. <clears throat> now, how do we do that? In Git, nothing is ever lost. So if you take a look at what was pushed three days ago, you see there's this commit here. This was the last commit of the branch. If we take a look at here, it's the same commit as here, except that it's an older version and it was the tip of the previous branch. So what we're gonna do is to make a new branch, check out uh, minus, uh, oh, whatever, git new branch, that's my alias for git checkout minus b. Uh, this commit, and we're gonna make a new branch out of it called uh, undo we do uh, rebasing. Now we're onto the undo redo rebasing branch. Um, and for the time being, let's just uh, get delete uh, undo redo. And okay. So if we take a look at the local branches, we're going to see that we have here our new base and we have um, the old branch that we want to rebase this on and <laughs> that we want to rebase onto the new base it's here and it's based onto something here something else so we want to rebase this onto um, the GS branch now um, I already know that there's at least one commit here that I don't want to include in the rebase. Uh, it is um, this one. Uh, I don't want to include this commit because it tries to fix a bug that doesn't actually exist. So I'm just going to exclude it from the commit. And the way to do that is to simply uh, do a git rebase minus i for interactive onto GAS and I'm gonna just remove that commit. Now it will rebase all this stuff from top to bottom onto GAS and it's going to conflict on the last commit because the last commit uh, does changes in the same lines uh, as what was done on the GS branch. So let's try rebasing. It's going to fail. It fails on the last commit, indeed. Now, how do you handle a case like that? Um, so what I do is to have two instances of Git to know where I'm going. One open on the base and one open on what I'm trying to rebase. Now, I can see here um, this is the this is where it fails, actually, because if you take a look at git uh, status, you can uh, see that timeline slash timeline is the file that it conflicts. Now, uh, you've got to find where in the base it conflicted. And uh, in my case, I can find it uh, kind of quick uh, just by looking at the files. Or you could use git blame but uh, I'm lazy. Um, not here. Not here. Um, there it is. So the reason why it fails is this line here 
has changed just as this line here has changed. And now the reason why this has changed in GS, in the GS base branch, is because I found this line to be completely useless. Instead, I removed it and I call self self dot uh, dot underscore position directly instead of creating a new variable. Now, the way to solve this problem is to open that file with a text, edi a text editor, search for the zone where there is a problem. Now, as you can see here, there are the two versions here. On, on the top is what is my base on the left, and at the bottom is what I'm trying to merge. So um, what I want to do is to combine the two, have the best of both worlds. So I want to keep this part, but have the changes from the right. So I'm just going to remove uh, this indicator here and remove this separator. Remove this separator here. And I'm just going to, well, I'm going to copy this onto here. Or I could copy something like uh, this onto here, whatever. And I remove the line. And now it is the conflict is resolved. Now, once the conflict is resolved, you have to tell Git that you resolve the conflict. So you open Git G, which I use as my tool for committing changes, and you just stage the change. Um, that is, you add it to the stuff to be committed. You don't need to commit it, because when you tell Git to continue the rebase, it will commit the change automatically. So you just stage the change by either using Git add on the command line or clicking this button here, which is so much easier. Now we can see the actual changes between the base, GS, and the branch we are trying to rebase. So now that's all good. I can do git rebase uh, continue. And uh, if I want to change the commit message, I can. Actually, I'm going to do that. There, simpler. And the rebase is done. Now, if I <coughs> actually compare this with the base branch, GAS, I notice that there's a file here that shouldn't be here. It was an error. So I might as well remove it. Um, so where did it appear? There it is, in that comment. So what I'm going to do is to rebase interactively again. And I'm going to ask Git to edit this particular comment here and go. Now git tells me go ahead make your changes. So I'm gonna do a git status which doesn't tell me anything useful actually. Huh. Well I'm gonna do a git remove etv undo dot timeline blah 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 and now it shouldn't be staged anymore and I can do git rebase continue because I don't actually need to commit having removed a file and the uh, commit message stays unchanged and there we go we're done we can now compare again well if we take a look at the commit the commit doesn't contain that row file again we can be triple sur sure by comparing with the GS branch and indeed it's just the changes now there's no row file around so here we are